when you first said your I do's, you were not under the impression that you would be parenting during a pandemic. I don't think any of us were. <laughs> you know, we are now living in times that our children will be reading about, you know, in history books and, and, and our grandchildren, you know, will be reading about in history books. And so, yes, because this is unknown territory, new territory for all of us, and especially two people in a relationship, you absolutely want to be able to talk about it together and so that you can make decisions with it together. Just the same as you would address any new thing that's happening in your relationship. If you're addressing, are we gonna get a new car next year? Where are we going to go on vacation? Um, how much money are we going to spend on the holidays? Or whatever those things are that you and your partner discuss, this is similar situation, unknown territory, so we're going to talk about it together. And I think that if more than anything, what this pandemic is exposing in relationships are those that don't have that open communication or those that did not have that foundation to be able to talk openly with one another. So even though someone may be coming to therapy, um, because their relationship is not doing well now, all this time has done is has exposed some of the things that maybe their relationship was missing in the first place. And now this is an opportunity to really address it. Mm, that can be scary. Yes, it can be very scary. It's it's scary in regular times. Like it, it's uh -huh. scary to have to have these hard conversations with your partner when things are normal. But now you're always together. You're not getting an eight hour break from one another and you're at home while trying to solve your communication issues. Right. So <laughs> someone who's listening, if they're thinking like, okay, I got to have some hard conversations. Like I know that I need to take the first step. How would you suggest they take that first step to, to open up the doors of communication? I'm a huge fan of I statements. And if anyone out there is listening to this that already knows me, that, that follows me, or has heard me on other podcast features, I am a huge fan of I statements. I feel that I statements are one of the very basic tools that we can learn in communicating our thoughts and our feelings. And so starting there, starting with how you're feeling, own, own, taking ownership over that, starting with what you, where your thoughts are, rather than coming in and saying, you've made me feel, or this situation has made me feel, starting with, this is how I feel or this is what I'm thinking, or I feel, I feel that that helps to be able to soften our hearts and ears. And then hopefully it helps to be able to soften the heart and the ears of the person that you're speaking with so that they're not feeling attacked or they're not feeling blamed, but we're taking full responsibility for what our thoughts and our feelings are. I mm -hmm. think that would be the first place to start if you're going to have this hard conversation.